Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the Welder add-on. Now, I've got five free copies of this, so if you want to pick up a copy, jump over to Markham 3D Studios, subscribe, because I'll be making a community post sometime next week, and if you're one of the first few to click on that, free copy! So, over into Blender, and as per usual, go Edit, Preferences once you've downloaded it, Install, double click on the zip file, wham bam, thank you ma'am, put a little tick next to it, and we're in. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this cube. Let's go rotate, let's put it in like so. Press N to bring up the side panel, and here it is. So from here, let's select both cubes. Let's click Weld. And then what this will do first is it'll apply the scale. We move the mouse left and right, yes. And then what you can do is actually rotate the weld a bit as well. And I'm just going to apply again with a left click. And there we go, we have now welded these two objects together, looking pretty schmick. The other thing you can do as well is we can select draw. I will turn off cyclic because I just want straight lines and we can just do a draw. And then I'm gonna press enter. And then we go into scale mode and then press left click. And then we go into rotate mode again. There we go, mm, about there. So yeah, really cool way of putting in welds onto a mesh. We also do have the opportunity to change our welds so we can go to my trade school welds. Let's just draw that one. Dun -dun -dun -dun, and enter, scale it up, enter, enter. And there we go, my botchy trade school welds. So we've got four or five of these welds, six welds. Um, so yeah, varying degrees of awesomeness. You know, the heat might be a little bit too hard on some of them, high on some of them, sorry, not hard. Um, but yeah, there you go. Impress your friends with some worlds. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content.